Good morning, Botai. Based on what we've been speaking about the past few days, uh, if we combine the few halachot, first of all, we said yesterday that according to the letter of the law, a person could be yotze, uh, the mitzvah of hadlakat nerot shabbat, by lighting electric lights, which means that at least according to all poskim, not all, but according to the poskim that we follow, if it's incandescent, you can even make a bracha. If it's LED, according to the Yerchut Yosef, you're still eligible for a bracha. You'd make a shakid deshenu b'mitzvotav tzivanu l'alik ner shen shabbat and turn it on, and you're yotzei the mitzvah of adlakat neru shabbat if you don't have oil or wax or paraffin or anything else to light with an actual fire. And the reason for that is because the ikara takana is there for there for, for there to be light in the house. Also, we said, according to Marana Shulchan Aruch, um, if there's already Nerot Shabbat lit in a certain place, you cannot make a bracha and light more Nerot Shabbat because it's not so recognizable that there's additional Kvot Shabbat with the additional light and therefore you wouldn't be able to make a bracha. Based on this, Maran Zechon Bracha writes in Chazon Ovadia Shabbat Chelek Aleph. says, interesting. It says, preferably, before you light Nerot Shabbat, although many people are not careful about this, what a person should do is try to make sure that the lights around the house are off. First turn off the lights around the house, or at least in the immediate area where you're lighting Nero Shabbat, and then light the Nero Shabbat with the fire, light the candles, and the bracha will also go on the lights that you turn on after you light the Nero Shabbat. Why? Because if not, there's a concern since a person would technically be Yotzei de Chova with electric lights, and the electric lights are already on, and Maran says that you're not allowed to make a bracha on extra Nero Shabbat. So now if I'm lighting fire, I'm lighting the actual candles for Nero Shabbat, there's already Nero Shabbat lit with the, electri- with, the, with the electric lights. So preferably, a person should try to turn off the lights before. What are you going to say? Oh, one second, but I already made the bracha and I already lit Nero Shabbat. How am I supposed to turn on lights now? It's Shabbat. Not true. According to Marana Shulchan Aruch, if a lady lit Nero Shabbat within a half hour of Shkiah, she can go and do Melacha afterwards, it's no problem. Especially over here, since lighting, turning on the lights afterwards will be included in the bracha that she said on the candles, it's perfectly acceptable. Now, that's the best way to go. Many people are not makpid. Many people, many women, light Nero Shabbat even when the lights around the house are completely on. Again, it's not the most correct thing, but Maran Zechon Vachar writes that it does not create a bracha levatala for several reasons, but it's a good thing at least if she's lighting in the dining room, wherever it is that she lights, at least to turn off the lights in the dining room, in the kitchen, so that it can be, not, it's not going to be dark, it's still light outside, but so that when she turns, when she lights the Nero Shabbat, there's actual light coming from the candles that she lit, and then go turn on the rest of the lights. Have a wonderful day, and Shabbat Shalom Vorach. Mincha Kabbalat Shabbat in Arvit is at 4.20 this evening. Have a wonderful day.